You know what makes me salty? The tourists are driving me crazy. That they could have knocked the person out of the boat. <sighs> and there's somebody outside. Oh my gosh, a creeper. Lucky Good morning, YouTube people, and welcome to my Florida room. It's Friday. This is a video about stuff that makes me salty. You know what makes me salty? I mean, the number one thing ugh, is tourism. Oh my gosh, how dare you say that? How dare you? Yes, the tourists are driving me crazy. And you know who else they drive crazy? The birds. Ah! A lot of other places don't have as much wildlife like running around like in their backyard or just wherever they go. Like just this morning there was an iguana in my yard. There were parrots, little green parrots up on the power lines. You know every day there's all kinds of crazy stuff. That's a huge attraction for a lot of the tourists. But Something that happens, and I found, I saw this article, Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission is urging beachgoers to be aware of birds on the beach and basically to not scare them when you see giant flocks of birds on the beach. Out of my way, bird. Because these birds, a lot of them are migratory, so they fly hundreds or thousands of miles to get here and they rest and eat on the beach and when um, tourists and kids are constantly scaring them off, they're depleting energy reserves and it can like threaten their survival for the rest of their trip wherever they're going. In conclusion, if you see birds on the beach, don't scare them away and don't feed them either. Don't feed the dang birds. Shut up, bird! Moving on. When I'm on Instagram, I follow Qualified Captain. It's hilarious. Um, if you don't follow it, I highly suggest it. It's all, it's like boat, boating fails but also awareness, education, they promote a lot of boat safety. So sometimes you see stuff local and it just, it gets me salty. So let's break it down. This video, what we can see is some jet skiers spraying water all over someone in like a small like dinghy boat and they're like getting really close like spraying the crap out of this person like real like you're like this is like and it's not safe like they're they're going way too fast because like creating that big of a wake you can like push people into like other boats it's just and there's people in the water it's fucking crazy right okay so the person in the smaller boat was the coach of like a kids rowing team for the miami rowing club what's on this post says that, um, oh, it says they waked the kids rowing. So with the, they didn't like wake them up, but they were going really fast. And while they're like rowing, it waked them and, you know, caused them, maybe it caused them to like tip over. Maybe they had to like restabilize, but it like interrupted what they were doing. And the post is saying that the coach asked the jet skiers to slow down you know, in the area where the kids were rowing, doing their club. So then that's when they like started doing this activity to the coach. There is so much water in South Florida. Like why they had to like be there is just unnecessary. And then you can clearly see how like dangerous this is. They're going so fast. And getting like so close that like they can easily just like drive right over that like small boat. It's that they could have knocked the person out of the boat and then if they didn't know they like run them over. <sighs> it just pissed me off so much. There's plenty of room in the ocean. Like even like in this shot, you can see there's like open intercoastal. So pissed. Ah! Okay. This next thing is friggin' crazy. <coughs> <coughs> and it needs a little bit of backstory. So, on the weekends, back up. So this story- Concentrate, Mr. Lee. This little bit requires a little bit of backstory. Um, 
For Christmas, I got one of those corduroy bean bag things where it kind of opens up into a bed and they're amazing. Every weekend, <coughs> my husband and I, we like to do like sleepovers where we like open it up and we'll like stay up late and watch movies and like fall asleep on it. And sometimes I'll stay the whole night in the living room like by accident. I'll just like sleep there and then wake up in the morning and I'm like in the living room. I don't know where I am. That was happening and it was Sunday morning at like five in the morning or something. And I was like waking up. So I was like, oh, waking up. I was like, oh, I'll just like go in the other room, go back to sleep. And I hear like a knock at the door. And <laughs> the dog was on the couch and he went like, Ugh. but he didn't do anything else. And he like went back to sleep. So I'm like, I know I didn't just hear anything because he heard it too. So it wasn't my imagination. So we have security cameras. I grab my phone and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if it's like a creeper, I like, ha they can't see my, me, like the light of my phone. So I like hid under the blanket and I'm like going on my phone, like pulling up the camera and there's somebody outside. And I look at the, and it was like a dude. There was like a dude that was like standing outside in our driveway. It was like freaking me out. So I was like, no. So I stayed under the covers. And I was like so scared. So finally, like he was it. He like walked off. And so I finally like I got up and I was like really quiet. And I like barely I didn't even move the curtains, but I like looked out the window and it was a car like kind of parked away from the house, like in front of my neighbor's house. So I was like, holy shit. So there was no going back to sleep after that. I was like too like freaked out. And I'm like, what could this have been? So <clears throat> I go back on the camera and I like rewatch the footage and it's like the guy was like driving up and down the street. Like he's coming from like the opposite direction of where he parked because I didn't see him like walk away from his car to like come back to it. So, and then he like comes up to the house. And it's like, Initially, I'm like, he must be looking for an address because he didn't like, he's not checking the car. So he's not like a burglar for like stuff because he didn't like check the cars, anything like that. And I'm like, he looks so, like, in the night vision, he looks so creepy. <laughs> but anybody looks creepy in night vision. So, and I'm like, he was obviously planning on staying somewhere because he has his keys in his hand. And he didn't try and open the door, so I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this guy is, like, either, my initial thing, my initial thought was, like, he's either, like, trying to buy drugs from somebody or he's dropping drugs off. It was, like, my brain immediately went to that. I'm like, oh my god, like, who's giving out our address for this? Um, and then my husband was like, no, you know what that is? That's somebody going <laughs> trying to meet up to go fishing, and I'm like... That's totally accurate. The guy's wearing like flip flops, shorts, a t-shirt. And then he also said he wasn't, he was parked a little bit down the street because if somebody's pulling the boat out, he's probably gonna pull in after the boat. And he probably had the wrong address or thought he could just find the boat, but there's like five or six boats on our street that look exactly the same or like in the little, like in a small radius. I think we're safe. I don't think we have to worry about it, but you can see like how easy it is like five something in the morning <clears throat> for someone to just like we have cameras all of our neighbors have lights there's a street light like right across the street um how easy it is for someone to literally just walk up to your house and like they could if the door was unlocked just like come on in so reminder if you live in florida lock your doors lock your car doors lock your house doors lock your windows lock everything because people will wander around during the daytime and go into your house and steal your stuff. So just lock it.